first. Come on, Mike. Being time at the zoo. He stars as Sam Winchester.
I'll take it. Please. <laughs> And thank you so much for your very kind words also. I mean, we always say this, but we mean it when we say it. Like, y'all really are the reason for the show. And, you know, there's a lot of work out there. And that's what we're excited about. Thank you Sergeant also. Okay, as long as it wasn't, you know, this is, I, I hope, what's, I'm sorry? Oh, right on, cool. <laughs> Sammy's girl, that's right. That's right, Sammy's girl, pay attention. Oh, we do have a microphone. Right on. I wanted to be the one with the mic, because then I can just start talking into it and everybody kind of has to listen. I have to share the stage. Where'd it go? Hi. 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 Rachel. I'm Jared. Hi, Jared. I had no idea. Hello, Jared. So in the last three seasons, you guys have killed a lot of nasties, and you've used a lot of different methods. Of all the different weapons and techniques you've used, you, your characters have used to kill a bad thing. Or not killing, just get rid of them. What's your favorite to work with of all the weapons? That I've ever worked with or keep working with? Either. Both. Let's do both. You know what? I love the sawed-off shotgun. <laughs> yeah, you gotta go, yeah, sawed-off is better than regular, but I was talking at breakfast, I had a great breakfast this morning, and I was talking about, or we were talking about the episode with Gordon, where I did the... <laughs> And no, it was so, it was one of those hard things because I love Sterling. He's an awesome guy. He's really talented. He's really fun to be around. Uh, and so I was like, I don't want him to die. And I was like, but I get to kill him really cool. So I was like, that's all right. And so I get the little thing. I'm like, okay, what do I do now? You know? uh, but that was kind of the most exciting. Also because it's sort of where we saw Sam uh, get to be badass. Bad butt. Booyah. Badass. Okay. <laughs> well, I said it. There's a. Hey there, Bumper Frappuccino. You have no idea how glad I am for this microphone. You better not steal my thunder, because I'll come over there. I screamed my voice out last night. Yesterday, I was like, rejecting. Okay, good. <laughs> so, um, this isn't my question, it's my best friend's question. Okay. If you could have one day, and then one day without any consequences, what would you do? What I do? You can't kill anyone because she said she's treating out. I wouldn't kill anyone. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, other than that, what would you do? Uh, without any consequences. Like you're not going to die if you... <laughs> Sorry, like you're kidding yourself now. <laughs> think, well, first off, I think my first reaction is I eat a lot. <laughs> and I find the best buffet or something. Especially because I guess you're not paying for it. Because there's no consequences, so... I'm kind of getting interested in this day now. I'm going to be in the airplane on the way home going like, what else did I do? I probably have a lot of food. I probably have a lot of steak. I see a, a sweetie in the back putting her hand on the stage. Can you yell up to me? Because I don't know where the microphone went. <laughs> it's with the girl standing. <laughs> The hardest, that's a great question. Um, for me, the hardest Supernatural episode I ever did was actually the last one we shot before the strike, which aired um, before Just Bellow, but we actually shot Mystery Spot at the very end, and it was where Dean dies a lot, and that was really hard yeah. for me, because um, it, it was, I mean, it was a very fun episode to shoot uh, with the talking over each other and everything like that, but to have to keep on getting in the mindset of somebody who's watching your brother and best friend die. Because if you don't find the truth in the character, and you don't find the truth in the moment, then there's no use in you really acting it. You're just being lazy. So I try to really commit to it, but it's really hard. You're like, you know what you're gonna shoot? And you're like, I don't wanna shoot that. I don't wanna pretend he's dying, because then I'm gonna get sad. And you're walking around all sad. But I'm happy now, because he's alive. So I don't have to work all day myself.
Everybody else calls him pretty, so I know that at least if I say ugly, he knows who's talking to. I think <laughs> besides ugly, I'll say uh, nerd. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I probably call him apples or schmapples a lot. Schmack. Ah. Schmack. Yeah. That's probably the most common one. What does he call you? He calls me Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I think he calls me giant, or stretch, or something. Um, I get stretch a lot. If I hear stretch on the set, I turn around and I have to talk to him. And meanwhile, there's a the yoga instructor going, okay, you stretch. <laughs> no yoga instructors on set, that was funny. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm Ginger. Hi, Ginger. Hi. I'm Jared. That's Rachel. Spot. I know you said that you've had a really good time bringing up. It's nice talking to you, buddy. <laughs> you stole for time, right? <laughs> okay, we're over there. Hi. Um, I'm not anyway. Nice. My question is, you played um, Dean Forrester on Gilmore Girls, and then you... seen so many faces and got so much support that I feel like from the support of the fans of this show alone, I could go for the rest of my career and not get any more support, but be fine, because I know that people have been so supportive. So I have to say, the just general camaraderie and, and brotherhood and family that Supernatural has built, that we're all part of, so thank you. Sitting down sketching. Um, Sandy and I were at a museum over the holidays, 
And people were sitting down sketching sculptures, and I was like, that's so much cooler than taking a picture. <laughs> like, here's my picture, here's my drawing. Uh, but I have no talent. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Thank you. Where did I go? Hi. Hi, I'm Carrie. Hi there. Um, I wanted to ask you the mystery spot where you were in the diner and you guys were doing that dialogue back and forth. How long did you guys take that to do that? <laughs> It took a while, um, not as long as you would think, but since he's not here, I'm going to completely blame it on Jensen. <laughs> and I'm going into detail. Uh, there was a line, I can't remember exactly what the line is. It's sandwich at George Makeup. Sandwich is surprising. Surprise is what? And what do you want to eat? Okay, it was something like the line where I say, or we say, and every morning when he wakes up, he, okay, enough. He would. Do it too early. He'd say every morning when he wake up, wakes up, okay, enough. And I'd be like, you're supposed to say he. And then so, and then I wouldn't say he because I figured he wasn't gonna say it. And then he'd say it. And I was like, well, what are we doing? He'd, he'd like skip a line. But we had done it. Uh, we ride together to work uh, every day. We get picked up and go to work. And so we have about 30, 45 minutes in the beginning of the day to go through our lines and to think of ideas and to run through cool moments or what we're going to do. And so we knew that day was going to be big because they wanted it to be, you know, very crisp. And so we just read, I had him read it a bunch of times because the idea is that Sam is mimicking Dean. And so I wanted to know what he would, how he would say it as Dean. So I just had him read it again, 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 again. And I started kind of doing it silently as he was doing it. And then I was like, all right, let's try it. And so then we gave it a shot. But also right before that scene, uh, we sat in this trailer and just went on da 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 And then we sort of put our heads down and went straight to set. And they're like, don't talk to us. We're like, go. We're in the zone. So, um, and then we got to set and you really did all the way. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. That was, when I read that, I was like, that's going to be really fun to shoot. And the only hard, the hardest part was not laughing because everybody else was laughing. And so, and it was sort of, you know what? I also remember, this is weird, uh, <laughs> but as you're doing it, you're so surprised and happy that it worked that you sort of forget that you have another line coming. <laughs> so you're going, uh, you don't know everything. Yes, I do. Really? Yeah. Same wish the worst makeup. And then you're like, we did it. We did it again. And so people are getting excited that you're doing it, that you sort of think about how cool it was that you just talked at the same time. You're like, yeah. Way behind in the uh, areas. I think we had the Christmas episode about two, three weeks ago. Okay. That was quite lighthearted in terms of, well, insulations and even sandwiches, but <laughs> mainly there's quite a dark undertone. Do you enjoy doing the lighthearted stuff? More like when you have the lucky charm, where you have the lucky charm, where you lost your shoe down the drain. That's oh. yeah. Do you enjoy that moment? Does that break up the whole dark tone of the whole series a little bit? You know what? I enjoy it. I've never, and I'm totally not fishing here, I've never thought I was funny. I've never been like, yeah, I can get up there and like act funny, you know? I've always really liked drama. Uh, and so it's been a fun opportunity. That's why they don't give me a lot of funny stuff. They're like, he's not funny, don't give me funny stuff. But anyways, also Sam's such a serious character, or has been, and it's such a dark show, that it's hard to really work in comedy uh, seamlessly. Uh, and we've had a few funny episodes, and we had uh, one, that, that is a funny one, where the bat uh, rabbit's foot, and you know, the Hellhounds episode, and the Tall Tales episode, but uh, I have a lot of fun doing it. I think it's pleasant to break up the, uh, to break up the dark. I mean, someone, someone famous, said, uh, if you make them laugh, you can make them cry. You know, and it's just the idea that you need the yin and the yang. It can't just be, you know, here we are, only going to be dark and scared, and I'm going to be scared for an hour. Like, I think the writers want to laugh and be scared and cry. The audience wants to laugh and be scared and, you know, scream and throw things at the, you know, so you want to have everything. And I think, I think adding humor actually helps accentuate the dark side of the show. Good question. There are cooler people than me that will really do bad things to me if I if I give away the ending. I, I just read, um, obviously Sam's gonna do everything in his power to save Dean, uh, and he's gonna 
call on other people that um, might have powers that Sam does not to help. But we're going up against a big, bad demon, so um, we don't know how it's going to work out just yet. Thanks for the question, man. Hi, I'm Jessica. Hi. Um, I, some of the episodes really scare us, like jumping out and everything. Do any of the episodes that have scared you? Yes. Um, a lot of times, when I'm really heavy in the show, uh, it's hard to be scared because you remember shooting and everything. And you're like, oh yeah, here comes the scare. But the, the one that I can remember most recently that really scared me was uh, the kids are all right with the little suckling kids. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, and the whole reflection thing, that always scares me where the camera's coming around and you're like, there's going to be somebody behind them, you know? And you're just going, ooh, I can't wait. But then it breaks back and then they're behind them on the other side. They're like, I wasn't ready for that. I wanted them to be over there with the camera. But that really scared me. And their faces and <laughs> yeah, when you see them through the mirror and the glass, that's kind of spooky. So, yeah, they do scare me. Most of the times, when I watch the show, I'm like being self-critical. or like, oh, I wish I would have done that. I wish I would have done this. But that show was really uh, like a, a Dean episode. You know what I mean? It was all about his backstory with the kid. I think I had two days off, um, which was, you know, <laughs> more than I've ever had. So, uh, so I got to watch the show as an audience member, and I remember it scared me. Thanks. Hi, Jared. I'm Laura. Hi, Laura. Um, just playing off what you were saying about the mix, I have to say I think season three, in my opinion, has had the best mixture per episode of angst, um, oh, thank you. humor, and scariness. But I think my, I was really sad to see Henriksen go this season. To see which? Agent Henriksen. Oh, no. no. I hate to see him go. But of all the recurring characters, which has been your favorite character and why? Character, not actor or actress. <laughs> uh, which is my favorite recurring character? Uh, that's a good question. I did love Henriksen. He was a lot of fun to shoot with. He was a cool guy. And he did a great job and added a whole new adult element and aspect to the show. Uh, I always like the recurring demons for some reason. Because I feel like, you know, usually if you run into demons, they have to be killed off. But even from the demon that was Nikki Acox in season one that ended up becoming Sam in season two. So yeah, because I think it starts to give us an insight into what it is we're going against. You know, we know ghosts are bad, and Wendigos are bad, and bugs are bad, and so, you know, kill those things. But, um, but it's really interesting trying to figure out, because I still like to watch it as an audience member whenever I can, and trying to figure out what the writers are thinking. I'm in the same boat as y'all guys. What, what are the writers doing? What are they trying to hint at in this episode that we're going to see in three episodes and go, oh yeah, I remember when this happened, blah, blah, blah. So I like the recurring demons. And I guess Ruby's been a really cool character because she's, she's revealed so much about Sam. And we're going, wait a second, here's this demon saying that, uh, that Sam was supposed to be the leader and like, she's trying to get him to turn into a demonoid. Android. <laughs> uh, so I, I like the recurring demons. I think they tell us a lot about the show. Hi, Jerry. I'm Erin. Hi. Um, back to, well, yesterday I think I was saying you say that your dog Harley was alright and after surgery, and I just really have to hear that. Thank you. And I'm too. <laughs> she doesn't tell me nothing. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> That's amazing. His dog? His dog. Yeah, see, my, my dog drawings look like my human drawings. It's like <laughs> four legs and a head and an ear. Sometimes two. One ear. Sometimes. Wow. Oh, oh, they're beautiful. You gotta show that off, Jared. Wow. <laughs> oh, look my Lord. Lord. Oh. Truth 
there's a Lowe's closer to my place than Home Depot. Not like I go to Home Depot anyway, but... Yeah, good Goldman. Somebody already took my question, but I just wanted to say, um, a few of my friends could come, but they don't have they want to say congratulations to you and Sandra. And we also, I didn't bring you with me, Sandra, they were giving it, but we put like a little fan book together and it has some more like, graphics that we can't draw. Oh, yeah. 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 But um, we made that for you, and my friend wanted to, you know, like I said, congratulate you, and she actually is the one that got me into the whole, so I guess she watched the more girls, and I watched, oh. I can't look at Dean Roy. And was, All right. I was like upset with Roy when she went with Milo, but um. But Milo's a nice guy. But. Yeah, but I wanted to say, you know, um, for me and her, that you both, you're a very good actor. You inspire both of us. We love your novelties. Um, but. There you go. Yeah. Um, what is your good morning. It is morning still, huh? <laughs> oh really? Yeah. We do bite. <laughs> Yes. I'm Heather. How are you? I'm good. How are you? 
Good, good. That's excellent. That's great. Good. Um, it's, it's lag time. It's still like <laughs> I nine a.m. What did she say? <laughs> um, I hear that you're doing a Friday the Thirteenth. I am. And I'm. Just <laughs> um, is it is it kind of like a remake? Try not. Or. Um, it's a retelling. Like, it's more of a. Uh, I read that it was like. Difference between a prequel and a sequel and a midpool. I guess it's a midpool. It's a it's a retelling of the story. It's not a remake uh, of the original. Uh, it's it's sort of a whole new telling. It's almost more like another Friday the Thirteenth movie than it is a remake of Friday the Thirteenth. How are you going to make it different so that we all like are excited about yet another Lots of course? faces. Excellent. Lots cool. of faces, and I'm just naked the whole time. <laughs> Okay, where's the, where's the next one? I, I lost track of it. Oh, there you go. This is a dumb question, but back to the Dallas Cowboys. All right. Uh, what do you think about the possibly changing the name to Urban Cowboys? Because I'm from Texas and I think it's retarded. I don't know if they've been in Dallas. They've never been in Dallas. They've always been in Urban. Always been Urban. So you can the new stadium. Yeah. Well, no, they're going to change the Arlington Cowboys. I have a question for you, because I'm four hours sleeping. Never for me. I have a question for less work, right? So I'm going to tell you a little story. I think you're aware that the cops department they sold John Winchester's black truck. I know. I know. But it went to a fan who lives down in the Dallas Fort Worth area. She's a friend of mine. I visited Chuck Zilla on my way over here. Nice. He's beautiful and gorgeous. He went to a good home. Is she taking care of him? She's taking beautiful care of him. They're going to work on the engine. It's like the carburetor's like missing parts. They drove 2,300 miles. Oh, yeah. Five gallons of gas a mile. Dang. But it's still staying in the supernatural family, and she's sharing with us. She's written a whole online account behind her. So I just want you to know that John's truck is still down. I'm very happy to hear that. Care for him, he loved. When I heard that, I was so sad. That's when I heard it the same time, we were like, what? <laughs> <laughs> but as long as he's taking care of him. He's in the supernatural family. He's not lost. <laughs> good, good. Tell her to keep care of him. We will. Thank you. Okay, last one, guys. Aw. I know, I'm sorry. Believe me, I'm talking to you all day long. I hear a song again. You got one. What's going on with season four? I, I, I truly, that's easy, so we get another one. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> I called Eric to ask him, he was like, man, I don't know. <laughs> so, I think they're going to do a lot of the writing this summer. Otherwise, I'll let you know. From what he says, like, something about Mary Winchester. <laughs> what is it? Lilith is the demon from Juice and Bello. At mm -hmm. the very last episode that aired before, she she's a demon, she's a brand new demon that has the white eyes that we know that she's very bad. What are we talking about? When? Um, okay. In that episode. Oh, she just said Lilith is a bad demon. Uh, oh, I don't know. It's a good question. Uh, Maybe the, maybe the powers can beat her, I think is what she said. Where, is the, where did the mic go? Okay, okay last one. I'm Gabby. I'm Jared. G-Day, mate. G-Day, mate. Actually, I wanted to say that I was dumb when I heard the original voice because I used to watch um, Supernatural on the Dr. version. Yeah, you got the most um, soft voice. Oh, great! <laughs> when they told me they were going to dub me with a German, I was like, sweet, I'm going to sound tough. And now she's telling me there's a German girl. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Beep! <laughs> 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 Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In the episode Hollywood Babylon, where we visit the uh, Warner Brothers studio to go visit the Gilmore Girl set, which is funny because we shot it in Vancouver, uh, not where they shot Gilmore Girls, but it was totally a, a writer's 
decision um, to put in Gilmore Girls and have me go, uh, <laughs> which is a fun little, you know, for people who don't know Gilmore Girls or do know Gilmore Girls. Um, I find myself trying to talk lower now. <laughs> It's going to be really cool. Um, so is the writers. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I think that means that everything. You know, I gotta say, 